Now, I remember when we came into the city, we were over here by one of the markets, and it said that there's a book in there for fishing, so we'll go try to find that really fast. All right, so we're over here at the local pharmacy. This is where the guide notified me that we needed to search the markets to find a book, so I'm not sure if it's going to be in here or over there in the small mini mall. Right here, there was a vending machine where we can trade for stuff, so we can get antibiotic, which is plus 100 hit points. We can get painkiller, which is plus 45 hit points, and we can buy chemical detoxification pill. So chemical gas resistance plus 100%. Not really sure where we're, uh, it says we need that in the chemical gas zone. So I don't remember needing that before. So eventually I guess we're going to have to have those to go to that area. So some looks like some things must have changed. Because I remember there's the cold zone and the hot zone. I'm not sure what the chemical zone is. So that'll be fun. <laughs> As you can see here, it costs, I guess, five won per. And it says we can sell stuff too. So we can sell toy robots, study paper, stone statue, the DIY cosmetics, leather wallet, meat basket, sandwich basket, and a salad basket. So let's go in here and clear this out and see if we can find a book. So in here we can find stuff on these shelves. So right here we have some painkillers to take all. Now uh, you can loot these cabinets. We've got a guy coming up behind us. Let's get, kill him real fast. All right, so we're back here in the back side of the pharmacy. Doesn't look like there's too much. I haven't seen a book anywhere yet. I do like these cabinets like this one though. A lot of times that's where I find car parts. Uh, we didn't have any luck this time, but you can find cooling fluid and other things you need to build motors. And then we have a med bag right here. So I'm not sure where the book's at that they're referring to. We'll keep looking. It wasn't on this bookshelf. Like I said, I jumped off the ledge right here, and that's when it notified me that there should be a book nearby. So maybe since this mall was inside of the range right here, maybe that's what set it off. So we'll check in here next. Oh, there's the graduation zombie again, so we're going to try not to alert him. Let's get our pistol out. And we're just going to lay into him as hard as we can. All right, so he's down. Let's go loot him. You want to kill these guys, even at the risk of almost dying as often as you can. So he drops a backpack. Let's do an F for take. And we got a graduation thesis and wands. A graduation thesis is the record of one's knowledge before they take their first step into the world. It's filled with valuable information proportional to the effort put into it. Since I've just acquired a graduation thesis, how about you need to read? You might learn something. All right, so we've mostly looted this place. I just want to go over a few things really quick. So like right here, the little baskets, you can loot these to find food. I thought I saw a book maybe right here on this desk. So let's check this out. So there's a book right here. We're currently out of space though. So we're going to have to make some room for it. So just find something useless and drop it that you don't need or don't want. As you can see, we have tons of weapons and extra items. We can get rid of any of that. We'll probably get rid of this rotten healthy juice. I don't really... Oh, and I ate it. <laughs> I didn't mean to need that, and now we don't have a revival point, so I'm going to run all the way back over here. Thought I was dropping it. Sorry, I was playing Icarus, so I messed up on that. So we did die. It respawned us over here in a new random location. We should have set up a bed and a respawn point. I did not get to that, so that was my bad. <laughs> so we're going to run back to the base now, and we'll set up a bed and everything else, get a good revival point going. We did manage to keep all of our loot when we died, though. However, we have to go back for that book. So that is a book in that market. It should be the fishing book. So I'll, I'll end the episode once we get back to that spot. All right, so we're running back right now. I did see a graduation zombie, so we're going to try to take him out. Like I said, keep it out. They could spawn anywhere. They've always seemed to be random spawns whenever I've looked for them before. Let's go back to first person. I'm not sure where he went. He might have gone inside that house. Oh, there he goes. Like I said, they're really fast. They used to be more glitchy, but now he's not so bad. Of course, now we've got a whole army behind us. Alright, so make sure you keep up where his body was left at. We want to make sure we have space on us so we can pick up everything he has that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the brick. Alright, so in this game to destroy stuff or drop it, we need to hold down the alt key. <laughs> and then we click on it and we'll be good to go. We'll drop this gunpowder just to be safe in case he gives us a bunch of extra books. Let's get rid of the sulfur too. 
And then we'll just take that. And we got Robin Hood, The Art of War, Graduation Thesis, Time Flow, and a bunch of wands. So really good loot drop on that. Like I said, always kill those guys when you see them. They're totally worth it. Alright, so we're back at base. We're kind of cleaning up our inventory a little bit. We need to go ahead and get rid of some of this gear just because we have too much. Let's go ahead and get rid of these shoes. So that's going to give us one iron ingot. Uh, the rest of it I just stored for now. We'll worry about it some other time. So you see here we got tons of this stuff stored right here. So we need to upgrade our crates, which we need to kill small animals and stuff for that to get some leather. And then we have a bunch of research data and books. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can do anything good with that. So like I said, I'd really love to get in a porter, but that calisthenics book is going to be at the factory. So it's here in the grasslands at the factory, so I have a pretty good idea where that's at. We'll go for that here in a minute. A logging expert, we've just found that. That's the Animalopedia beaver that we found in the church. So we can research that to give us woodcutter's attack speed plus 10%. That'll come in handy. We could go into junior builder if we wanted to. Build speed plus 20%. Upgrade speed plus 20%. Don't really care about that. Speed doesn't matter to me on those. We're going to be hunting for materials more than anything. So this is located here, it says, in the central grasslands. So we need to find the checkpoint here. I think I know exactly where that's going to be at. We do have the graduation thesis. So we can actually work into these combat stats using those. They get It gets more expensive the higher the tier you go. So that's strength plus. So damage plus 5%. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then like I said, the next tier is going to be a cost of 2. Uh, this one's going to be a cost of 1. So range weapon damage plus 5%. Melee weapon damage plus 15%. Let's go ahead and grab that. So we can start trying to one tap things. And let's do uh, damage taken just because we're doing so much fighting lately. And that should clean us up pretty much. All right, from here, let's run back over to the market. And we can cover this really quick. I didn't even think about this. Might have to build a knife to do it. But right here, we have a small animal. Let's see if we can skin it. So our traps are working. And then you need seeds on you to reload it. We don't have any seeds right now, so we'll worry about that when we get back. So that gave us rabbit skin and small meat. That's used to upgrade our ammo bags. So if we hit I again, we can come right here. So the ammo bag, the food bag, and the material bag, those will get upgraded so we can carry more stuff as we go out and loot and gather resources. And the different types of animals, birds, and things you'll need changes at each tier. And then we have some more points. Let's go ahead and put some... So we could do strength to get our damage up. Again, not worried about that too much. Vitality, attack, stamina usage, dodge stamina. That We will do that because I'm using a lot of it to dodge and attack with. And that way we'll use less hit points when we run out of stamina while we're surrounded. I forgot I said we checked this army jeep. Let's go and look at it really quick, see if it gives us ammo. And yep, still gives us a bunch of ammo, so let's take all that. So we made it back over here where the book's at. There is also a vending machine outside of here where we can buy all kinds of food items that could come in handy. Especially things like coffee, that's cold resistance plus 100%. A lot of this food stuff's different. Oh, gain XP for fit plus 50% for 6 hours. That's definitely awesome. So that costs 4 wands, it looks like, with a discount. Then we have maintenance kits and stuff, so that'd make life a lot easier if you had generator breakdown turned on. You still need these for a few other things, though. You can buy cells at 20 per 5 wands. So the dev did a really good job here, finally gave us a better purpose for the coins besides just making tons of trap machines. Now let's grab this book while we're back. Alright, so that's Jing Zia's Fishing Secret. So that's used to do angler research. Fishing is going to be important later on. So I'm going to go ahead and finish full looting this building, but just want to go over that location. I can show you on the map really fast. So again, we're in the grasslands, in the main city for the grasslands. There's other cities later on. And we're currently at coordinates 45, 55, 165.13. And we're going to grab these coil blocks here too to get the coils. They used to give a lot more. It's looking like I'm getting about one per crate now. And we finished looting this place, so we looted it completely. Now this little black box here gave us a lot of ingots and really good loot. So we have two copper ingots, four iron ingots, so that's pretty good. Um, as you can see here, we've got gathered a bunch more resources now. So we're ready to head back, drop this off at the base and I think we might have enough time to clear the hospital for the next episode so I'm gonna try to do that really quickly so I'm gonna swap back to like my throwing weapon or just turn all weapons off so we can run faster I am I am really happy about these vending machines those are new at least new to me so it gives us a good purpose and a way to gather things it probably wouldn't hurt to grab one of those XP burgers just to get everything sped up now these other buildings a lot of these buildings they're just full of good resources so if you feel like you need certain things just go loot those you can get a lot of building mats uh, usually I'd hit all these cars, but because of the alarms, I'm just leaving them alone right now. Uh, there was Elite here. We had to kill him on the way back over here. Because we need to eventually go into the subway, but I'm waiting until we get that quest. Hey everyone, welcome back. Dev Spider here. So let's get back into the Night of the Dead. So we needed some more storage space. We're running low. All of our crates are getting full. So we're going to upgrade some of these. So we're going to press T. We need iron ingots, iron plates, iron nails, and rubber. So let's go ahead and upgrade this one. And we'll keep moving down the row. So we ran out of iron plates, so we need to make some more of those. Let's go ahead and get a couple made up. We need seven more.
And the next one's going to take processed leather and rope. So we'll go over that once we get those materials put together. But as you can see, we've increased the slots here a lot. So we should be able to keep more of our stuff organized and where it needs to go. But then let's grab some more materials and see if we can't upgrade our bags so we can loot more. So we're going to need pieces of iron, duct tape. And I think that'll be the first level. That's all right. I keep having to pause to let those AI guys finish talking and then I come back. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to craft right here on this bench. Click the middle icon here. You could craft gear here if you wanted to. You have a chance of getting something better than what you currently have. You can also make ammo here. Now on this third tab though, over, that's where we can upgrade our current tools and weapons if we have the right materials. So if you click on it, it tells you what it costs. So right now what we're worried about is the ammo bag, food bag, material bag. So let's do the ammo bag first. That's going to take a piece of iron and a piece of duct tape. So again, reforge it. Food bag's the same cost to go to plus two. And same thing on the material bag. So the next thing we need will be bones and processed leather. So if you've had your small traps out and running like I told you to earlier on in the last episode, you should have rabbit skin or small fur of some sort. So what you can do is on your personal crafting menu, come up here to the knife and butcher knife. I, I'm not really sure what it's called, but yeah. <laughs> come to the far right tab. You can click on the bones. Those would give you processed bone. You can click on the rabbit skin. That'll give you processed leather. So we're going to go ahead and make all the processed leather that we can and then trim it down. Right, so now that we made those materials, we can come back to this this crafting bench right here. Again, third tab over. Let's click on our ammo bag. It's at plus 20% storage capacity now. So we're going to upgrade this one again. It's going to cost two duct tape though. So we're going to do ammo bag, then we'll do the material bag and that will put us out of duct tape. If we can, we'll make some more duct tape. So we'll forge that. Reforge that one. These are now locked. So it says research required junior blacksmith. So I have to research to get any higher. Uh, food bag requires more piece of duct tape. In order to make duct tape, we just need a piece of rubber. So let's go ahead and craft one of those. It's made on this workbench. And we'll come back over here and we'll get our food bag upgraded. And this should allow us to carry more stuff. So we're now at 30%. Which should allow us to loot a lot better and cleaner than we've been doing. So from here, we're going to go ahead and drop our loot off. And then we're going to head over to the hospital. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is I said we we're going to build a bed so we can respawn if we die. So let's go ahead and knock that out too. So we're going to press B as in Bravo. We're going to come down here to the chair icon and the bed icon. And at the top right here, we have a sleeping bag. We're just going to build that for now. Let's go ahead and just position it right here. It should be out of the way of everything. And then F to set revival point. And then revival point is now set. So when we die, we shouldn't just randomly respawn. We should respawn back up here with all of our gear. And once your small traps have been used up like mine have, go ahead and reload those using seeds. Make sure your hammer's not equipped because then you'll demolish it. Another thing we can do if we want to, we can take some of these small meat cuts and go ahead and cook those on the cooking range. Except we have not built that yet, surprisingly. <laughs> so that's a crafting bench that we could use. I think we'll just eat some of this other food for now. But if you wanted to, you can cook your food and use that to re recharge your hit points. Uh, we have plenty, so let's go ahead and just consume. Well, let me see. We'll consume one of these. And then we can take some of these painkillers to get our hit points back up before we go to the hospital. Alright, so our white bar is looking like it's maxed out. So let's go ahead and take a painkiller. And we are good to go. Then let's go ahead and put some points into something. So we could do... See, I don't want to do judgment. Don't care about hit point recovery or evasion rate up. Strength is damage. That's cool. Noise and movement speed up wouldn't be bad just for the movement speed. I don't care about the noise part. We are alerting zombies anytime we get close to them at this point. Um, if we wanted to, we can kind of look over here at these abilities and see what they require to upgrade to the next tiers. So like right here, it's fire. Fire level one takes five a level 5 ignition coal, level 5 strength. So that's no big deal. We currently have enough for all of that. Like I said, I don't know exactly which way we want to go here yet. There are a bunch of cool things like opportunity, which is for looting, super armor for defenses. Uh, I do like being able to freeze and do lightning. I think those are some of the best ones to aim at. So if we click on lightning right here, it needs attention 5, lightning coil 5. So I guess we could go ahead and take attention to 5 just in case we get lucky and have the right gear. It'll at least give us some lightning damage. So yeah, we'll put that at 5, that maxes out our points. We'll, I guess we could take strength and everything else up next. Maybe all the level 1s or take a level 5 ability. So we'll get everything level 5 next, and then from there we'll refocus into what we want. So like this one's red now, so we should be able to do lightning every time. And lightning attack chance when attacking plus 5%, so that should help us out a little bit in fights. The zombies seem to respawn really, really fast, so be careful of that, because I just cleared all these guys not that long ago when I set up that car alarm in the last episode, and it, we're still on the current day. From there, so there's multiple entrances to the hospital. There's this back entrance here. There's a side entrance on the other side, and then there's the front entrance. We're gonna go through this back one right here. So we're gonna have to fight a few guys to get inside of here. So that guy right there is kind of like an elite. So we want to be careful with him. Let's go ahead and weaken him a little bit with a bow.
I am taking votes right now, so if you guys want me to play in first person rather than third, just let me know. I know we've got one person so far that wants me to do first person, so if people mind and care about which way that you're watching, let me know if you want to look at this way, which is third person, or this way, which is first. I prefer third myself just because I like to see it around me. Right, so this is kind of cool. Uh, actually, let's take care of this runner real quick. So we went over this in the last episode, but it seems like a lot of specialty buildings. So if it's a place you can buy food, like a restaurant or something, they have all these vending machines outside now. So you can actually buy stuff here. So we can buy meds here. So that's nice to know. Good place to find it is at the hospital. We can also do the same thing at the pharmacy. So let's go ahead and go through these side doors. Now there's going to be tons of enemies in here. Lots of good loot. Uh, like I said, we're headed for the floor that's above us. If the, uh, if the book and everything's in the same location, the items are in the same location, it should be on, I think, the third floor above us right here. I definitely recommend a good melee weapon when you come in here. Quarters are tight, and there can be tons of enemies per floor per room. So we're going to make our way through every room. We're going to loot everything. The loot pretty much is the same as any other building. Just check everything until it turns. If it turns white, you can loot that. So cabinets, medical bags like right here. And then I'll see you guys once we find the next item, which, again, is above us. There's multiple ways to go up. So there's staircases right in front of us, there's staircases in the main lobby, and there's a staircase on the far outside. Quick note, be alert, you can get attacked from behind even if you clear the space, because there are the random zombies that spawn occasionally throughout the game, and they will come after you from behind. So watch out for those guys. So things have moved around to the hospital, they're not where they used to be. The, uh, the hospital itself looks different on the inside, the loot tables are different, the things you loot are different. Uh, right here we did find a book, we were on the top floor right below roof lev level. So I cleared the entire wing over here, which is where the loot used to be that you wanted in the hospital. So I cleared all these floors first, closing the doors behind me because when you open these doors, they can set off alarms. So be ready for that. There is an ability that you can learn to disable that just like the car alarms. It will summon all the zomb zombies. So shut doors behind you, at least on the stairwells, because they will walk around, go to the roof level and come down to find you. Uh, right here though, like I said, there's a book, so let's go ahead and take that. It sounds like it wants to search for clues on the first floor, so we're going to go ahead and fight our way down. I might have to make a run back to base, though, to drop some loot because we've gotten so much. All right, so we're on the first floor of the hospital. I already made a run back to base just to drop off some loot, so let's go ahead and clear this floor. The next clue should be located here. Hopefully the screams aren't too loud. I'll try to edit that if I can. So I'm going to hit everything I in this hospital. The computers are one of the best things I've found so far to break down. It gives us copper wire almost every single time. And from here, I think we're going to try to go to the checkpoint after the next wave hits us. That way we can get the wrench. Because when I'm going through buildings like this, I like to be able to break down every single thing. Uh, so far, I haven't seen anything in here that needs the wrench. But these computers, when you see these, break these down. Because they're going to give you a bunch of good stuff. You can get circuit boards like right here we just got iron plate and copper wire yeah, that one gave us iron plate and copper wire too so like i said these computers are just filling us up with copper wire we should be able to build a ton of traps once we get done with this building uh, right here looks like another clue on this table so we're in the main lobby let's go ahead and take that the entrance logs show no sign of walter ever coming to the hospital what could have happened given that he was in charge of transporting the mutant substance there might be clues regarding its whereabouts at his place. Walter's house is the one with the red roof in the residential area in front of the school. It's quite distinctive, so you should be able to find it quickly. Right, so there's our next clue. I couldn't exactly hear what she said. I think she said school. It's really quiet, so I wish they'd turn the AI up a little bit. So let's hit journal and see if we can figure that out. Alright, so we have check marks all over the hospital right here. Next, Dr. David's diary. Check marks all over that. And then it says here, catch the thief. Guard Walter Wagoneer's house. Memo on the table, take it. So it looks like we need to go find this red house in the, I guess, living district. Looks like it's maybe down below the school. So we'll go check that out in one of the next episodes. Because we're going to finish looting this building and then we have to survive the wave. Alright guys, so while leaving the hospital, I went ahead and decided I might loot some of these smaller buildings like the gas station. I don't know if we're actually going to get to the gas station because I am getting kind of low on space. But I was hoping to hit like this small building and the building up there. Right here I saw a vending machine so I figured I'd stop and check out what it's about. So this fitting machine has some really cool looking stuff in it, so let's hit F to trade here. So it's got a backpack in it. A backpack that someone used, the red stains do not erase, obtain student, obtainment area, island wide. So I'm not really sure what that's about. We can get the cap. I guess these are costume pieces that we can wear. So yeah, we've got the prisoner uniform, handcuffs, police hat, police uniform, all the military type stuff, all the graduation stuff, some regular gloves and a hazmat suit. 
course, they get attacked while trying to talk. Uh, laundry mat's usually a good place to get cloth, so that's mainly why it's going to swing by here really fast. And again, it's right across the street from the hospital. Then once you're inside of here, there's tons of stuff to loot, so basic boxes, trash cans. Uh, the most important thing here, though, if you need cloth, just go ahead and loot all the dryers and washing machines. Alright guys, so we're right here at the school. That's the school up there on top of the hill. So if I press M on map, let me zoom in a little bit. Sorry, it didn't work just immediately. So this is currently the main base. Hospital's right here. The school is this building here. And if the picture I looked at was correct, the guard's house should be this orange one right here. Let's get Mama June out the way. And we'll just clear our way into here until we find something meaningful. Wow, that's a lot of good drops. Now, if somebody thinks about building inside of one of these, I don't advise it. These gates right here can be broken. The two gates on front of the place we're at will be broken eventually. So you can't count on those to defend you. And like you can see here, there's multiple entrances, so it's not a great place to build. But around the school, there are ton tons and tons of iron rocks, so be sure to loot those if you need iron and copper. All right, so we came through the front door of the house, and right here on this table, looks like there's a note, so let's take it. From Walter's notes. It seems the mutant substance was handed over to Lieutenant Colonel Victor from the military. That means we'll need to head to the military base, and we'll probably need a card key. Search the house thoroughly. It says search the house and we need to find a card. So we're going to keep looking until we find the card that we're looking for. Unless I already picked it up by accident. And then from there we have to head to the military base. Good place to get ammo and some weapons and armor. And houses, make sure you break down the TVs. It's just like breaking down a computer. You get good electrical supplies. It's, I'm not sure what this is. It says we can take it though. It looks like a jacket right here on the wall. Never seen a loot item like this before, so it might be something special. Just want to make a note of that. And that gave us the military access base card. You found the card key. Good. Taking off his upper clothes before turning into a zombie. He was meticulous, if nothing else. Are you ready to head to the military base now? All right, so to end this episode, before right before the wave starts, hopefully what we're going to do is go ahead and make some concrete, brick, cement, all that good stuff, and do some quick upgrades. We did a ton of farming, as you can see. We cut down all the trees around us. We mined all the rocks all the way around this perimeter. So to do these upgrades, we're going to need all the limestone we can get. So you're going to need tons of branches and stuff for that. Wait, did I, I just made limestone, didn't I? <laughs> All right, so we just wasted a bunch of small stone. You actually need a lot of small stone to repair this, so hopefully nothing gets smashed tonight. All right, so using our limestone, we'll make some cement. That we probably have way more than enough of everything that we need to make, except for, I believe we're going to need nails. See so if we can go ahead and build a foundation right here just to double check. Plus, eventually, we're going to build up here anyways. All right, let's go ahead and get our hammer out. You can see we've already done these. They might be a little damaged now because that guy was over here just hanging out. Nope, everything looks good. So let's go ahead and do our upgrades. Now if you can't reach something, so if you're looking at something you can't reach what's below it, you can always use the mouse wheel and it'll retarget to anything around it. Probably one of the best tips in the game. Like I said, you want to do all of this upgrading to a minimum of stone before day 5 if it hasn't changed. So we're currently going into day two, so we're gonna just go ahead and upgrade all these foundations so our traps are safe. We're gonna stand up here on top like I like to do, make sure you upgrade your stairs too. And the wave just started. Uh, we should be in okay shape with what we've got going on right now. Guys are going to start charging around because they saw us. So we can double check and make sure we don't need to reload anything. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this wave, guys. Probably not going to record it. As always, if you enjoyed that content, be sure to like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll get back to them as soon as I can. We're still working on small traps over there, too. So make sure you keep an eye on those. You keep refilling them with seeds. If you need seeds, just destroy small bushes. So I think we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and handle this wave. It shouldn't be anything difficult or new. If it is, then I will include it in the video. But until then, guys, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you on the next one.